All right, as we go into this weekend, it's going to be steamy out there. Some overnight fog. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, maybe share this YouTube video. I made it just for you, right? As far as the weather goes, over the next four days, it's going to get nicer Monday. The, the rain chances Monday will likely be in the morning hours tied to a cold front. It's an August cold front, so keep that in mind. It's not a fall cold front, so uh, it's only going to be 88 with lower humidity on Tuesday. But as we go through this weekend, I'm going to show you the model guidance here in just a second as we go hour by hour. I think the storms are mainly going to be in the afternoon, late morning afternoon tomorrow, and then a quick round early in the morning Sunday, and then more Sunday afternoon and evening. And if the front moves in earlier, we may be able to lower the Monday chance for showers and storms. So let's get right to it here. Let's take a look at 5 o'clock Saturday morning. Um, muggy start, light winds, and areas that had so much rain last night. Again, I'll draw this in again. Uh, many of these areas on down into Coleman and Blount County picked up four to six inches of rain, a tremendous amount of lightning. We'll likely see some fog there. We'll see fog on area lakes as well, and that may happen the next couple of mornings. So be careful if you're going to be out and about early in the morning fishing, things like that. Here's 11 o'clock Saturday morning. This could change a little bit, uh, but overall this model, this is the graph model, by the way, it's done an excellent job with uh, the, the storms that we've had, and they're usually challenging when you get these MCSs. Uh, the temperatures warming up in the mid to upper 80s. If these temperatures warm a little bit more, and I'm going with a high of 94 tomorrow, I think the forecast guidance is gonna be off a little bit. There's gonna be pl plenty of fuel for some pretty strong storms as they move through. And the timing is everything when it comes to these complexes of storms. As we saw just the other day, uh, the storms that moved through, they weakened initially and then they just surged as they moved into southern Morgan County and Marshall County and DeKalb County. We had quite a bit of damage there into Coleman County as well. So uh, it makes a huge difference, the timing of these storms. So keep that in mind if you're out and about this weekend. Lightning and heavy rain will be the primary threats, by the way. As we get into Saturday afternoon and evening, kind of like the last couple of days, should be relatively quiet, but very muggy out there. So even though we're in the 70s, it's not really the 70s that we associate with fall-like weather because it's so muggy. Here's early in the morning Sunday. Could see a quick little round of thunderstorms come through, and then another round earlier in, uh, later in the morning, around 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Notice how warm it is already, though, Sunday morning. Uh, temperatures close to 80 degrees at 8 o'clock, so very muggy out there. That round moves on, and then we may have another round coming in as we get later into the afternoon and early evening hours as temperatures once again get back into the 90s. Now, Sunday night right here looks relatively quiet, but we still need to time out the showers and thunderstorms we expect at some point Sunday overnight into Monday morning. So again, have a great weekend, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button.